Happy Sunday morning, everybody. It is Sunday, November the 26th, 2023. I hope that if you're here in, in the United States that you have recovered from all the turkey that you ate on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. And I hope you're having a wonderful morning so far or whenever you get to view this program. I'm glad you're here and I pray that it is a blessing to you. Uh, I want to say a special good morning, Rusty Fan and your mother, Rusty. I I'm so glad that uh, I know you tune in each week, and I'm glad that it's a blessing to your mother, especially at this time in her life. Uh, also, Matt and Carrie Dietrich and Donna Worthy, I just wanted to take a minute and say good morning, and I hope you all have wonderful services at your churches today. Um, just another quick reminder while I'm doing just a little talking. December 8th and 9th are the Old Fort Community Chorus Concerts. And that is here in Old Fort, North Carolina at uh, Old Fort First Baptist Church on December the 8th. It is at 7 p.m. on the 9th at 2 p.m. And so if you're able to come, I know you will enjoy it. The choir is between 40 and 50. Uh, members and they're all just a fantastic group of people to work with. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Today is a very special day in the church and it is Christ the King Sunday. Next Sunday starts Advent and that starts the new church calendar year. So today is the last Sunday of the uh, liturgical year and um, it's the day that we celebrate Christ in his fullness, in all his glory. So all the songs today, I actually picked them. I didn't take requests this week. So this is my program, my gift to you. As Keith Lloyd said that uh, he'll just take this as my gift to all of you, the viewers. So let's go ahead and get started today with Majesty. tongues to sing. Different songs with the same title. 
So next up, I have another version of Old for a Thousand Tongues to Sing. It's a little more laid back, but very, very worshipful. to do and that is rejoice the Lord is King.
So now we're going to change gears just a little bit and do a couple out of the Redback hymnal. And this first one, uh, we're actually singing it, the men's quartet will sing it here at the church this morning in the program, or in the service, I should say. And it's a lot of fun to sing. Uh, you have to have a lot of practice to do this one. And it's simply called, He's My King. <laughs> childhood and if you're viewing and you grew up at the South Lenore Church of God there in Lenore same church I did uh, if you remember back to the radio program that we had on the local AM station that came on every Sunday morning I believe it was 8 30 because we were sitting down to breakfast about that time and we always listened to the radio broadcast this was the theme song that we had on that program Jesus is coming again
next up, we always think of this song as a Christmas song because that's when we sing it. But yet, it is not actually a Christmas song. Joy to the world, if you look at the words very closely, it is the, about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Uh, when he returns as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So, let's do Joy to the World. time to just read a scripture during the program, but with Advent coming up uh, starting next week, and we look at Jesus as a baby, there's nothing more precious than a baby. We were in a restaurant yesterday and I was watching uh, a mother holding a sleeping baby that slept through the entire meal, and it was so precious sleeping. And we all like to think of Jesus Christ in that way because it's, oh, how sweet. But yet he is returning soon and very soon the rapture is going to take place. This whole world can't take much more. But when he returns, he will return as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In Revelations chapter 19 verse 11 it says, And I saw heaven open, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heavens followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So Jesus is returning, and he won't be a baby when he comes back, but he will be King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So let's do The King is Coming.
next up, let's do Midnight Cry. Midnight cry, we will be going home. And when we get home to heaven, we will bow at the feet of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. And I will bow on my knees and cry holy. <laughs>
bowed on my knees and cried holy. Next up, I want to do one, and it's a little more unfamiliar. If you know this one, please, uh, I'd be glad to for you to let me know that. I remember this one from growing up, again, back at the South Lenore Church of God, and the choir used to do this one. And uh, Doris, you correct me if I don't get the title right, because I didn't have the music to it, so I'm relying on memory here. And it's, He's Still the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Sometimes it seems like this old world's in control. He's still the king of kings and lord of lords. Maybe he's not your king. Maybe he's not your lord of lords. What better day than today to ask Jesus Christ into your life? Maybe you're backslidden. Maybe you're not where you should be, where you once was. All you have to do is ask him to come into your heart and forgive you of your sins. And believe on him and accept him as your Lord and Savior. And then you can know the same joy and assurance that I have in my heart and so many others. All right, so we're going to conclude today's program. Uh, letting you out just a few minutes early today. And we're going to end it with soon and very soon we're going to see the king. You know, I was thinking about... Uh, when we're kids, actually, I still do this with my son, but we play hide and seek. And, you know, when you count it down and you count to the number that you're supposed to, to give them time to hide, ready or not, here I come. Well, guess what? Soon and very soon, Jesus is going to say, ready or not, here I come. So be ready.
celebrate today's program again. Happy Christ the King Sunday. Next Sunday we will start some of the Christmas songs because it is the first Sunday of Advent. I won't do all Christmas songs next week. I, wanted, I don't want to do that just yet. Otherwise we get a little repetitive on some of them. But I hope you have a wonderful week. Get up and get out and go to church today if it is Sunday morning when you're viewing this. I know some of you have already been to church today. I hope you had a great time. And I will see you next Sunday, Lord's willing. Bye.